live live and um, love be in livery green L- live, livery laugh, green live I, live laugh live, laugh lizard folk why lizard did folk. that there take so we long? go i don't know how did that take so long for me to get to live laugh love li- lizard folk <laughs> lizard folk yay hi everyone <laughs> I love bringing in doors are like just ramping up conversations. It's always so much fun. Anyways, yeah. it's Friday. It's time for another paint and slate. I'm V and above me is Lauren. And today we're going to keep going with the Lizard Folk render from WizKids Rawr. D&D Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures line. Uh, we actually worked on this fellow whilst working on finishing up the snail flail. No, flail snail. <laughs> I, mean, I said snail flail. Wrong. I'm not wrong. I just kind of put a comma. Snail, but yeah, you still... <laughs> <laughs> you put it in alphabetical order in the index. Flail, comma, snail. Snail. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're going to keep going with this lovely render a la Lizard Folk style today. And ah. we'll be using the D&D Prismatic Paints. Uh, but remember, those are all Vallejo paints. So the colors that we give you can also be found outside of these kits. And when in doubt, I will also give you the generic names. However, before we jump into um, continuing with RAR, um, I think that's why I might just name this one is RAR. Rawr. Um, what do we have going on in the game land of things, Lauren? So it's interesting. Now that we're on to events 2.0, and we've kind of finally gotten events 2.0 rolling, the, the number of times on this show and where it's like, we've got 3 billion new things. I feel like it's calmed down a little bit. It's kind of nice. I feel like we get a nice stock of fun stuff at the beginning of the month, and then you get time to really enjoy it. I know a lot of people have been enjoying events 2.0. If you've got any feedback now that it's been going on for like a week and a half, definitely come to our Discord, discord.gg slash idle champions, and let us know. But if you have, it's it's right here. (laughs) No, I was mimicking Trink. I'm sorry, that was me going Trink. (laughs) Not telling you to. I listen, hydrate or dihydrate. Is that how it goes? Mm. Ooh, that's dark. There we go. So, yes, <laughs> we've got. I, but true, but true. So, yeah, Festival of Fools still going on. And now that we're a couple weeks in, we've not just got Daddius and Dark Urge that you can unlock, but some of your mm-hmm. flick slots have opened yeah. up. So, you have a, a plethora of champions to choose from and add to um, either your collection if you haven't unlocked them yet or getting new stuff for them. So, uh, if you're having trouble getting some of those higher difficulty adventures done, you know, 1400 or higher. The, I'm I'm there with you. I'm there with you. Well, we've got a weekend that is going to boost some of those champions to make it a little bit easier. The respectful weekend has yes. begun. The, the super respectful weekend. If you are signed up for a newsletter, then sometime in the next couple hours, you will get our newsletter with the free gold respected chest. Uh, if you're not signed up for the newsletter, definitely sign up so that not only can you get all the fun stuff, but then you get Hitch, and Hitch is a fun champion. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what's going on this week- weekend. So Daddius, Brunor, Bailoth, Miria, and uh, Minsk are all getting some nice little boosts for this week weekend. Um, yeah, and actually, that's that's it for the moment. Yay. Nice, right? Yeah, I like it. It's good. You know, I I will mention one thing because yes. I don't think we've actually mentioned this yet, and I'm mm. going to look up specific dates. So as a he- there's a good heads up as oh. a heads up to everybody. It, <laughs> yeah, I, I realized halfway through that sentence, I'm like, I should be more specific. Of, you know, <laughs> uh, as a heads up to everybody, there's uh, a couple of Fridays coming up specifically in two weeks. You mean? Yes, in two weeks. Uh, in two weeks, where we're going to be the for just that Friday. It's not a permanent change. Earlier in the day, because um, March 29th is a holiday in Canada, but not in the United States. So some of us will still be streaming, namely us. And because of all of the things going on on that 29th, we're actually the one stream chat the one stream show going on yeah so two weeks from today will be at 10 a.m pacific so two hours earlier yeah. now i wanted to mention it today even though that's two weeks away for a couple reasons one i just thought of it and i should mention it <laughs> two that is our hundredth episode yes i mean if you've 
if you've been counting. So not only is it at a different time, but it's going to be an extra special episode in where we may have some fun things to do with the chat. So I figured give you a little bit more of a heads up on that one so that you can plan to come on by uh, from 10 a.m. till noon Pacific, so two hours earlier. And we'll, we'll give you a reminder next week and yeah. there'll be stuff on socials as well. Uh, but that is that. There, yeah, I think. Uh, the only other thing I have to say is we have the fabulous Mars today as our moderator in chat. So if you do have any questions for either of us, go ahead and put question, big capital letters, so that Mars can grab that and put that in our little backstage document so that I can keep up with things as we're as working on RAR. 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 Thank First you, in my head, it's, it's RAR. RAR. <laughs> it's not even for It's like a little like RAR. <laughs> it's like what you get with like a tiny little, right? you know. Yeah. It's it's the close up of the thing that you think is this massive velociraptor and then the right. camera pans out and it's like, Oh, you're so tiny. Rawr. Okay. <laughs> That's just Rawr. it because it's like this is like Godzilla's wee little babe. <laughs> yeah. Rawr. Yeah. Rawr. Um, I'm fearsome though. Anyways, last week we started painting this up using sick green, which is actually quite a lovely uh, spring green color for those of you who are using the non Vallejo kind of paints. Uh, so the name of the game today is we're gonna go back to sick green and just touch up any little white spots that we might notice that have come up. Because mm. let me tell you, this boy is textured. There's a lot of deep ridges and whatnot going on here. So it's not gonna be surprising to find like little spots like, you know, right here where it'd be wise to go back in and quickly touch that up before we go through and do some um, additional painting. So yeah. pick up sick green and we're just gonna go through and uh, do some quick little touch ups on this one and then keep moving along with a variety of colors. And I've also decided that next time I get a chance to create a character, I'm gonna name her Plethora Dearth. <laughs> I but the dirt plethora is an excellent uh, an excellent first name for a character so, yeah that, it's just that like I'm liking a lot plethora the first name dirt the last name just for there fun of the at odds <laughs> exactly mars gets yeah. an ironic name <laughs> irony is fun let's go it for... is it's fun it's a good thing to do i guess i'm going for you so what i have discovered and i don't know if this is true for you as well mm. is that if i'm looking at our big boy head on I'm like, yeah. oh, I think I got most of the spots. And then as I turn it to be able to yeah. look like under the the um, scales, like, yeah. oh, that's, that's, that's where they're hiding. Yep. Oh, yeah. Like I just totally missed some areas right near the uh, inner thigh zones. So yeah. that needs some attention. Yeah, the paint. Definitely going to be a lot of, oh, right there, poke, poke, poke. Mm -hmm. Oh, right there, poke, 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 poke. Pointillism. Pointillism. <laughs> Apparently, if, if you would like to play that character in a Star Wars game, they have to be a Sith so they can be uh, a dearth plethora. Dearth instead of plethora. <laughs> instead of plethora dearth. No, I think it'd be Darth plethora dearth. Just, just get the most out of it. Yeah. A name, uh, a name so nice it's their title and their name. Exactly. Darth dearth. All right. Yeah, that whole that whole side. Like, yeah, there's just it's, sections it's like, that are kind of sneaky yeah. up on you. And it's like this weird optical illusion too, because mm. literally you look at it head on, or I look at it head on anyway, and I'm like, oh yeah, it looks good. And then as soon as I turn it, yeah, it's like those magic eye things. It just gets revealed. Nope, 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 nope. That's a nope. That's a nope. Well, and the nice thing is, is we're not playing the, uh, oh, wait, is that just the paint drying? Or is that actually a spot? We know the paint is well dried. Yeah. So it is, it's a spot. In this case, it's a spot. Yep. Yeah, because if the it's paint was spot. still wet, this would be. Yeah. I mean, if the paint was still wet, this is how I missed all these spots to begin mm -hmm. with. All right. Oh, that's a whole section. I'm just keeping an eye on chat. Do, do, do. Yeah, I don't think I missed any sections, but I definitely have uh, spots that are just living there. Yeah, I've got like individual spots here and there, Same. and then they'll be like, oh, this entire left side has a bunch of spots. Was I just in a hurry? Was my paint too watered down? Like, what, what happened? I'm sure there's a 
bunch of different reasons for it, but you know, luckily we can quickly do this, and then while it, this dries, we can paint the belly, and then come ah. back to this, and you know, do some back and forth. So, I was gonna ask what our what's next on our plate. The the uh, neck to tip at the tail on the under side of things. Okay, is up next. Yeah. Man, I have the windows open, and it smells so like spring. Oh. I do not have the windows open because it's a little it's, it's a little too cold even it's, though it is yeah. uh, bright sunny and then also uh so, sometimes it doesn't smell quite so good cuz I've uh, they're just parking right there. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> fair. It's it's parking so it's not like there's people right. idling there right. or anything. But, but still, still that it wafts through so often the uh exhaust. Yeah. No, this is one of those things where it was like um a couple of nice warm days in a row at the end of this week, and then it's going to get cold again tomorrow. Mm. So, like, I'm taking full advantage. I'm like, the heat is off, the windows are open, fresh air, airing out the house, which the yeah. cats are loving, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, before before the stream, what one of yours was really trying to hunt outside. Yes. Little Miss Thing. Oh, there's, there, there's right there on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. How would you miss my sight? Yeah, definitely the upside down trick to look down the texture is helping. Yeah. It's like, oh, and you, and you, and you, and I choose you, and I choose you. <laughs> oh, and right there. Yep. Yep, there's another one. Whoop, there's another one. Whoop, there's another one. It's okay. I need to move that there. There we go. I'm thinking we might uh, wash this with some green wash just to help because of all this texture. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Oh, good grief. How did I get... That's a whole patch right there. Sir. Eh. It's it's just because of how awesome these There's scales so, are. There's such good the... texture. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I would say that these are even in a weird way thicker than the uh, the dragon they that are. We did a little while ago. They are absolutely for sure. I think it's just because of the 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 scale of this creature versus mm -hmm. the scale of the uh, actual scale the scale of the scale scale there. shape. I'll just yeah yes the scale the shape as well yeah yeah it's coming into play here. All right, I think, see, I'm saying I think I got it, and then there's, like, a couple spots that just said hello yep. to him. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, but I figure at that point uh, we can do the belly and see yeah. those spots, and then I'll just go back to the green and be, and poke a little bit more poke, and be poke, like, poke. you, you, and you. It'll you be a... You, and you, and you. Definitely a lot better, though. I've definitely yeah, caught, I think, most of the most egregious spots. with that. Definitely happier with that. Okay. Ugh. Hold on. I think I, I was trying to be so careful about like elbows and uh, basically joint areas mm. that I think I, I probably focused on that a little too much because all the places gotcha. I'm finding are just yeah. It's it's the more surface zones as opposed to the e biddle zones. Yeah. As opposed to the spots and where I was probably going, this is gonna be yeah. I need to spend more time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All I right. I got most of it. Then once that happens, we're gonna move over to Dead Flesh, which in the bottle looks like an olive green right now because of how the pigment pigments have sort of coated. It's not this color green. Do not be deceived. I will show you a swatch of this once it's out of the bottle. It's just like how goblin green guises itself as almost a turquoise green in the bottle for some reason. Yeah. Hey, Hembos. Let me just wandered in. Actually, I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna swatch the paint color next to the bottle. People are like, "What? You're lying." The okay. greens in all the paints do tend to separate a lot so, more. So dead flesh comes out this color, even though the bottle. Looks yep. like that. All right. So just heads up. That's that's really what the color is. Uh, so you want to aim if you're doing uh, your own color paints at home. You want to do like a pea soup color almost. A creamy yeah. pea soup. 
what, what would be another good color for that one? Um, a green toned honey mustard? Maybe. I don't know. It, it's hard to explain. Den this flesh one. is definitely a much it's, it's, less it's got appealing a, color. Yeah, yeah. It's not a pretty green. There's a sickly yellow to it. Mm -hmm. Yellow green, I should say. Uh, and Delkun asked, is it intended that the weekend chests don't come with a golden item or feet? Um, Mars is reporting that to the team. We're, we're trying to figure that out. Okay. So thank, thank you for letting us know. Thank you for the question. And Mars, thank you for uh, following up on that. One right. And we're just doing straight... Uh, just, dead flesh, no. Just straight dead flesh onto this whole shouldery area. And then down the belly and under the tail. Alright. I'm going to take a look because I think I want to make sure that I got the same spot to stop that you did. Okay. Yeah. I, I went a little far. I didn't That's go okay. far enough, but I think okay. I know. Not to worry. I am going to do a slight little, once there's not as much paint on this brush, I'm going to do a slight dry brushing at the demarcation line to soften mm. it. But if I do that right now, I'm just basically going to paint over the other green. I don't want to do that quite yet. Yeah. But that will be a step that's going to happen in a little minute. And there, okay. Yeah, as I was painting this last week, I definitely had the moment of, I, I think I've gone too far with this green, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm debating there's this little notch underneath the chin that has that little, see that triangle there? Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to, you know what, I think I am. I'm going to just do it. So I'm going to bring this up and under. Like that. Mm -hmm. too. Let's just carry over. But definitely a lot easier to paint that in having it already painted out green than trying oh, to yeah. play the back and forth game. Oh, that shoulder is just that's a okay. Do works right. out. Well, and it's they're in an interesting pose. Yeah. And so the that under neck is not necessarily at least in my eyes i'm not seeing it in the same place as the other side no it's not balanced no yeah it, it skews towards one side okay i'm glad it is not just me and my eyes nope it's a sculpt for sure it's a sculpt yeah, one of the reasons I've got on the overlay, I've got not just art from our game, but the um, the official art for these lizard folk is just because of the um, the variety that you can get in the mm -hmm. scale tones and in the the Frill. flare yeah. on the on the top of the head and everything. Yeah, definitely. And the position of a lot of stuff like, all right, how much of the body is is this green color and how much of it is this yellow underbelly? Exactly. I need to go further with that. I might need to go further with that. Okay. <laughs> Oop. A little more than where I wanted to go. Yeah, it was definitely a little more. I definitely put a little more green in places. I think I went a little further than I wanted to go, but. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, but like you said, if we're softening that line. We are going to soften like that it. line. I don't like it when it's a hard uh, line like that. I mean, I've done yeah. it with other scaly creatures before. I just like taking just a slight little dry brush along that edge. Makes all the difference, surprisingly. Yeah. So, well, and it's it's faded, especially if you look at the the original art, the the official That's art. Just it's that, it definitely blends. got a fade. Yeah. 
I say got a fade like it's like it's a hairdo from the 80s. Right? They still do fades, don't they? Probably. <laughs> I I say with with my a little bit of hair and not not really knowing what the style is of anything these days. <laughs> I'm not I'm not keeping up with the latest of trends. That's fair. That is my own fault though. No, it's just where you want your priorities. Or at the very least where they have to be. Uh. Yeah. Um, Kogan 7M asks, does the mini material affect the color or does putting a drop of paint on the outside of the bottle show its true color? Interesting. That's on black and that's on flesh tone. So it, I, anything's gonna, you know, whenever you have undertones, it will affect how the color is going to read, full stop. That's why mm. sometimes you do base colors that have more of a cooler tone as opposed to a warmer tone or a neutral tone for reasons. Um, so yeah, by nature, if you put something on black, it's going to stand out more. If you put something on white, it's going to be a little bit more muted. Um, but uh, in terms of the material being, whether it's metallic or plastic, that doesn't come so much into play as do the base colors or your primer that's where you're kind of going to play around a little bit with what the color is going to translate to be. Okay. Yeah. But at, at the very least, with this specific color, mm -hmm. having that dot on the outside, is that that dot on the outside on the black is way more indicative of what the color yeah. actually is than what you're seeing in the bottle. I'm. It's probably not true for most of the colors, but for this one... Absolutely. No, I'll still give you an idea of what the color paint's going to be, just keeping in mind it's black, so it may not translate as either um, vivid on lighter colors or as dark on a black tone. Okay. I and do have... Think, yeah. You do have what? I do have paint bottles where I have gone through and done just that, like dotted um, the paint color onto the top. Mm-hmm. And it's come in quite handy. Uh, but it's been a consistent line. So they all have the same paint cap color uh, ah. to make it easier to compare colors to each other. So I have like 25 blues of this one particular line. So they all have paint dot colors on the top because it's a white cap. So I can look at the blues and get a better look of this is what this blue translates to be as a blue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because definitely there are some colors like this green mm -hmm. that are uh, very different from what's inside the oh, bottle yeah. to what comes outside. And then there's there's a lot of colors like, you know, some of the, like the red that I'm looking at right now. Like uh, what comes out of the bottle looks pretty close to right. what I'm seeing yeah. inside. So it's got to be, I guess it's got to be on a, a paint by paint basis. It is. And this is one of those paints, personally, because I've used it so much and I know it's quirks. I know to look at the bottle and what the bottle is going to look like on the outside. So I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm not going to bother dotting each bottle because what is time? Um, but it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely a thing. If you want to be able to quickly reference what your paint colors are, just dot the tops of your bottles. Yeah. You can absolutely go for that. Also getting between this guy's legs is a challenge. Yeah. That's not like one good way to really hold this. Well, because it's such a dynamic motion of a sculpt. Like you get a couple yeah. scales and then you need to change your angle because the sweep of the sculpt goes in a different direction. Absolutely. Uh, also, I'm hearing from Mars that the uh, issue with the weekend chest is not coming with a golden item or feet. Uh, that has been fixed. So it, it, if you were having that issue, um, my guess is probably go ahead and uh, <laughs> restart your game, turn it off yeah. and turn it back on again. Um, and if you're still having a problem, go ahead and put in a support ticket so that that can get fixed. <laughs> but thank you for the heads up. Yeah. I just realized, and this is mm -hmm. going to be a weird thing to just realize. 
Yes. Considering we were, I was literally talking about this moments ago. Because of the way that uh, Events 2.0 is happening, mm -hmm. we are not going to have as many weekends in where the Friday is going to be filled with people coming into our chat going, okay, who should I pick for my time gate? Oh, that's true. That being said, I wonder if we're going to start getting more and more people, who for should I pick slots. for my flex champions? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be... Yeah. That's a good point. Although the flex champions, you pick, you can pick those starting on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, earlier in the week. Yeah. Uh, so people might have already picked by them, but yeah. Yeah, there's something about that just finally yeah, hit me. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's true, because we get the time gate weekend startups with our time slot. Yep, and we still will. It'll. Oh just... yeah, no, I know. It's just not as frequently. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, this tail. At least the tail has a very clear demarcation. At least. Oh, in my it does. Eyes. It it definitely does, which is nice. It's just um, <laughs> hunching over the camera and stuff. It's like, ah, and breathe. Yep. Yep. It's that reminder to move the mini to you. Not moving I you would to love the mini. To, but if I move the mini to me, this is what the chat's gonna see. Bonk bonk. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? You're gonna move uh, to me. The the perils of streaming mini right? painting. I'm like I'm the question mark painter. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> whereas whereas I'm just like this. I've just got it super close. I'm just poking at the tail. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, it's definitely under these grooves that I'm noticing uh, little spots creeping up on me. Mm-hmm. Because again, they're such deep. Not this is not a bad thing on a mini. The details are so deep. Oh boy, here she come. Hi. Ah. Uh. Hello. Hell yes. Hi, kitty. Everybody in chat, say hi to the kitties. Is that what time? What you doing, baby girl? What you doing, baby girl? I'm paying the cat tax. No, no, no. We're not doing that. <laughs> no. We're not sitting on the keyboard again. Uh oh. Yeah, last time she did that weird thing started happening and like one of my uh layers got moved. Oh whoops, I remember that, yeah. yeah I'm like, um I know we talked about the weekend buffed and I don't know where it went. I I got recently sent I think it's been turned into a meme at this point, but it was a screenshot. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't remember who the streamer was. It was just one of the, these screenshots of someone's stream where they have a cat. Uh -huh. Where apparently uh, it is on such a regular basis oh, when they take a break and like go to the bathroom or get a stretch or something that their cat jumps up onto the desk. And it's, and it's probably because it's, well, kind of. So it's probably because it's warm up there and everything. True. But we'll just start typing. And not really typing, but like right. probably stepping on the keyboard and everything. And it happens so frequently that the chat is used to it and they just start responding as if they understand what the cat is saying. Amazing. It's like, oh yeah, that's, it's like, oh, hi kitty. How's it going? And then you see <laughs> I'm like, oh, that, that's a really good point. Yeah, Too I totally cute. get that. That's a riot. Yeah, that was, that was funny. That's fun. Oh, you're getting sassy, huh? Is there rain coming? This might be her um, weather changing attitude. Oh. Yeah, whenever there's like, Barometric shift, she gets very, very, very fun about it. And I get and fun nuke. being the sarcastic fun? Fun being sarcastic fun. Yeah, she yeah. like, will tear around the house and sing me the song of her irritated people. Yeah. So, we shall see. This this could get to be a very um, vociferous episode, depending. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, so I have that all filled in with dead flesh. I'm going to go in now and just grab a dry brush and lightly take care of that edging area. Just trying to find a good dry brush for it. Yeah, I'm about to join you. I'm just looking at Oh yeah, no miss rush. any spots. No rush at all. This is just my letting the chat know what I'm about to do. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to have fun and start just 
So now, did you grab anything in any color in specific, or just grab a dry brush and using grab the wet a dry brush yellow. and using uh, dead flesh? Okay. So I'm the tra dead flesh is going to be the transition here. Okay. Because there's so much of the sick green using the dead flesh to kind of blend the two in a dry brush method. Okay. It won't be as overwhelming as if we were to take the sick green onto the dead flesh. And I'm focusing it right where that line is where the two colors go. All right. Well, and with the dead flesh being the wet paint at this moment, mm -hmm. I feel like I have a little bit more uh, wiggle room as far yeah. as making it look good. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. Because we are going to go no. back in and dry brush um, these scales with another color, but this will sort of act as a in between as we fine tune it. I love a good fade. Yeah, me too. Some of this is definitely easier to get that uh, fading than others, though, for sure. Yeah. Sorry, I was concentrating, not ignoring. <laughs> That's all right. Today is definitely a day to concentrate with all the scales. That's yeah, just it. Making sure I made sure to blot my brush before actually going into dry brush and then be like, oh, yeah, that's right. I meant to uh, remove more. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Yeah, especially with. Uh, at least my yellow is still a little wet, so as I'm dry brushing, it's very easy for me to just start picking mm -hmm. up more yep. paint than I mean to. Yep, exactly. But you can see... I'm trying to get the lighting so you can actually see. You can see how this just sorts, sort of softens up. Because yeah. naturally, you know, if you look at reptiles naturally, like, yes, some of them have very hard lines, but more often than not, there's sort of this blending of colors in those transition areas. I feel like the only place that I'm going to leave it alone, and maybe it's just my sculpt, is right there because there's such a clear jawline. Oh yeah, the jawline is going to be one where it's like, not so much. But yeah. the tail and the chest area, for sure. Okay, I don't know. How am I going to go after? There. Let's do that. Do, do, do. So I watched um, Damsel last night, which is on Netflix. It's What's this that? new, it's like this new fantasy uh, thematic movie um, with the young woman who plays Eleven on Stranger Things, whose name is completely flown out of my head. Millie, okay. right? Is that her first name? That um, sounds familiar. Yeah. Um, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but anyways, it was uh, it was a cute movie. It was it was entertaining. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was but it was one of those things where there were some parts I'm watching so I'm like, thank you, Mars. Millie Bobby Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. Um, I think my brain like disconnects it because it's like I recognize her first name is Millie but then I go to Bobby Brown and I start thinking of the cosmetics. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. that's why I think I'm wrong. Um, no, that makes sense. But yeah, like concept-wise, it's a really fun movie. I'm not going to give away spoilers and stuff, but it sort of twists the fantasy classic fairy tale in its ways. But then okay. there were just some parts where I was watching it, and the the English teacher, literature reader, analysis person jumped, and I'm like, "Is this part really necessary?" Oh no. <laughs> 
think this part could have completely been redone if you just cut here, cut here, and put them together. And it would help the flow. Like, I was like, okay. I haven't done that a long time, and it would be, like, watching it and sort of critiquing the plot flow. Um, yeah. But I enjoyed it. That's just it. Like, I enjoyed it. I don't want to make it seem like I didn't enjoy the movie itself. I did. It was cute. But it was just funny to sit there and kind of go into analytical critique mode. Yeah. For the plot line. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for just something kind of, um, easy watching, uh, but fantasy based, it's, I th- I'd give it a thumbs up for that, for sure. That's good to know. Yeah. Luke and I are still trying to figure out when and how we're going to go see Dune part two. So. Fair. We are. I still need to see one before I see two. And at least one is uh, a lot easier to, uh, get at home yeah. as it were. So. Yeah, that's for sure. But yeah, we would. We're hoping to see it before it gets out of theaters. But honestly, if it, it, it I really want to see it in the theater just because yeah. of the 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 soundtrack and the sound oh, and everything. Because I know yeah. our like we've got a a pretty nice big TV. <laughs> you know, let me just uh just talk about how good our TV is. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> So for me, it's like, but we don't have a sound system. We don't have uh-huh. any kind of um, Got audio it, yeah. system. Yeah. So being able to go to the movie and and hear it, especially it's since that soundtrack yeah. is real good. Yeah. That's a different experience for sure. Um, I don't know why I just got an image of your partner slapping the TV like, let me tell you about this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many pixels we can yeah, put this in this? Just thing? A, like car salesman style. <laughs> uh, in a weird, in a in a, a roundabout way, you're not that far off. So okay. the so the story of the TV we had. Ooh, there's a TV uh, story. It, it's it's a small story. Um, we had a really nice LED TV for a very long time, but it was quote unquote only 36 inches, ah. and it's not like that is a small no. TV, but the uh, if we wanted to play video games, or especially mm-hmm. if we wanted to do like co-op things, mm-hmm. it was a little too small to be able to like do the split screen and everything. And it was Got it. yeah. Uh, we're getting old enough that bigger font is nice. Um, yeah. And you don't want to be sitting too close to it and, you know, where you want to put TVs versus where you want to put other things in a living Mm -hmm. room, blah, blah, blah. Um, But it had never been anything that was, like, high in our list of priorities to get. Uh, And when the panini happened, um, while we were basically at home all the time... Luke is a master of finding really good deals. Wait, on, that's like, right. Yeah. I remember him telling me about this last time I was out in Seattle. I was like, my sir, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah. He is amazing. He can find just amazing deals on uh, Craigslist and, and occasionally Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. So one day he comes into the office and he's like, I'll be right back. I'm picking up a TV. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, come and back. so... Um, so there was someone, uh, locally selling, it's, it's like 55? It's a really big TV. It's a really, really big TV. Uh Uh-huh. Um, the, the fun thing about living in Seattle, where all of the tech people are, where Microsoft is, and Amazon, Mm -hmm. and all Mm -hmm. these things, is there Mm are, (laughs) sorry, I just saw Mars also, this baby can fit so many pixels. Right. Um, there are a lot of people in this area who always are trying to keep on top of the latest in yeah. technology of whatever. And well, some of them have to just because of their jobs. Absolutely. And on top of that, a lot of these people have more money than time. And so uh, one of the things Luke is good at is finding the people who are like, I'm selling this thing for ridiculously dirt cheap mm-hmm. because I, I, but I need you to be the person to get it out of the house. Right. You know, that kind of thing. But only if you can come tomorrow, that, that kind right. of thing. Right. The time frame. He came yep. up with this giant TV and he, this TV, which I'm pretty sure at the time, a couple years ago, probably was like seven, eight, 900 bucks somewhere in that frame. Mm-hmm. 150. I'm sorry. What? Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yep. Damn. Yep. 
Okay, so if I ever make it out to Seattle and set down roots, I'm going to, like, be pinging Luke. Hey, Luke! <laughs> Hundred percent, and and he <laughs> he gets joy out of it. Like he, oh, I he can, gets all yeah, excited about finding a, a good deal. It was a tablet. I think he was talking about when I was out Do last them. time. That's yeah. the one it was. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Two Surface tablets. The older, whatever the older new generation was, it was the generation before that. Right. So the old version. Yeah. But still, like yeah. I'm. I'm. It's still my the one that he got for me is still sitting over there. That's fantastic. Just dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna dr jump over to Goblin yep. Green um, and keep doing this dry brushing on the scales, but take it over to where we were doing the sick green. So Goblin Green's gonna get dry brushed over the rest of the green. Um, but again, uh -huh. Goblin Green's that one. Like I said, it's fun. Like the outside is this teal color, but it's not the actual color. <laughs> nah. It's just yep. how the pigments have kind of settled on this. And yeah, it happens. Green adjacent it really stuff does happen. Just, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, again, I will do a little swatch of maru. So that is that's the actual color of goblin green. It's more of a pea green color. And then that will dry brush onto the rest of these scales. Where do I want to start? That's that's a very good question. I'd say at the very beginning, but what is the beginning and what is the end? You can get so philosophical with these lizard folks. Right? I'm thinking Hi. I'm going to start on the top of the back because I want to start someplace that's far enough away from the dry brushing I already did. Fair. I think that... I think that you. Pardon me. I think that's my plan. Bless. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, spring is starting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I did see the mole's revenge says, I got my dishwasher for nothing more than the effort of taking it away. It lasted me eight years so far. Yeah? That's impressive. It's, there's uh, something to be said for, especially big, heavy things like that. Mm -hmm. There, There's a non-insignificant number of people who are like, I don't, I cannot lift this because of my back. Right. I don't need the money. I need someone who can I lift this. out of here. Yeah. So, you know, I will, if you pay in your in your strength and your time. Oh then yeah. That's good enough for me. I uh, trust me, I fully understand that one. Like I have no problem putting furniture together. I can do it. However, yeah. there has been some furniture that has been delivered to my place where I have a handyman who I text. I'm like, hey I got more furniture. I need you to come and put it together for me because the pieces are just too busy too busy? Too heavy for me yeah. to put together. Um because of my back. So, you know, when when you're only allowed to lift so many pounds and it is a true hardwood tabletop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. It's like, oh, half of this is more than I'm supposed to be lifting right exactly, now. Exactly. Exactly. I didn't feel so bad when he brought a buddy over and the two of them were struggling to lift the tabletop onto the uh, proper angle for the stand. I'm like, yep, it was, it was definitely the right thing to hire hire someone to come out and put this together for me. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wood is always surprisingly heavy. Yeah. But it was nice that it was an actual wood tabletop and not like a particulate board type of thing. That was Absolutely. a big seller for me. Oh, underarms. Why? Mm-hmm. Oh, underarms. Why you gotta be that way? Uh, Mold's Revenge goes on. Here, if you can't get old appliances to the tip yourself, you have to pay 25 pounds per item for the garbage collectors to Ooh. take them. So free if you can carry it is not uncommon for large items. Makes sense. Yeah. Totally makes sense. Yeah, I think the only, the, the biggest difference, the only real difference, I should say, because um, that kind of idea of free if you can carry, free if you can get out. That's that's definitely a common thing. But the fact that around here, it involves so many electronics that mm. are really not used at all. Yeah. <laughs> that are just still in perfectly good condition. I mean, if you got it, take it. Mm-hmm. And it makes uh. those people feel good because the, the last thing right. you want, I mean, they all understand uh, what condition they're giving away slash selling incredibly cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, but now it's like, oh, this is going somewhere that's going to get used right. and not going to end up in a dump. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. 
I mean, heck, I have a laptop that is truly non-functional anymore. Like I tried everything and it's just, it's too old. It's old. Don't, yeah. don't give me tips. It's, it's 15 years old now. Um, and I just keep missing the, you know, safe way to dispose of them weekends in town. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I get it. I definitely get like, you don't want to end up in the landfill in the wrong, pl- wrong place and what have you. Yeah. I just can't give it away to anyone because there's nothing about it that's even salvageable. And with stuff like that, you also have to do the whole, well, I need to make mm-hmm. sure that there's nothing on the computer. And if it's yeah. not a a computer that you can make work anymore, that makes that a little more yeah, difficult. Yeah, exactly. I know there's usually like computer places that will offer. Oh, yeah those services too which is helpful i know i just don't want to drive 45 minutes out to best buy because then it's like what's the point Mm -hmm. because now i've just wasted all this gas (laughs) yep it's a little laptop it's just tucked under my bed when i finally can sync up with when the town does the electronics disposal day i'll just head over literally two blocks i could walk there if i wanted to but it's nice out (laughs) how often do they do that kind of thing like twice a year Okay. That's not so bad. Yeah. It's just one of those things, every time I think of it, it's like long gone, missed it by four whole weeks. Yeah. Type of situation. So I, sh- so I should probably check after we get off the call today and see. <laughs> Has it been like six months? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Because they tend to line it up with like, oh, your spring cleaning and your fall pickup um, themes. That totally makes sense. Yeah. All right, chat, here's an assignment for you. As we are doing our sign off, I need you to remind V <laughs> that she needs to go and look to see when the next recycling True. day for electronics yeah. is in is in her area. There we go. There we I'm go. Counting on you, chat. So am I. Pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you tell me. I mean, or someone could just yell real loud at, at whichever is the I, whichever is the phone that you have that has the the digital assistant whose name I will not say, so I they don't activate. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I don't like that voice activated stuff. That's fair. Because I talk to myself so much, I I don't need that happening. Yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah. No, that makes sense. Well, it, it, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, it, and I've told the story before. It stems from when I used to have Alexa, and Alexa just started doing this weird demonic laugh all on her own late at night. Ever oh, since that happened, I'm like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> it was too traumatic. I refuse to use, you know, hey, um, hey, um, the G name that- or hey, the S name. Yep. I won't. I won't. Nope. I, I, yeah. I got way too freaked out, and I just I can't rest comfortably with that option open. That makes sense. I've just gotten very good at um, muting my phone. And fortunately, mm. um, my, my G phone over here, making sure it didn't do it. Uh, when I do have it muted, it will mm-hmm. it will still pick up if I'm, it, you know, like it still call out to it and it'll still do things, right. but it will not do anything out loud. Got um, it. Which is really the only thing that I'm worried about is that unintentional mm-hmm. all of a sudden mm-hmm. my phone is making noise when I don't want it to be making noise. Right. So. Oh, that's fair. Although I have discovered that uh, so I have a, a Google Pixel and mm-hmm. Luke has an iPhone. So we have uh, completely different dueling electronic people. Yeah. Uh, I gotta be real close to Luke's phone for for the Apple one to respond to me. Interesting. And I don't know whether it's just trained on Luke's voice or if really? I'm doing something wrong or what, but I, I can be right up on that phone because I've tried sometimes. <laughs> He'll go to take a nap and I'll try to like call from, you know, five, six feet away, and, you uh-huh. know, hey, would you set an alarm? And phone won't respond. Phone's like, nope. No, uh-uh. you're not my real dad. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't need to listen to you. Yeah. You've got your own phone. Tell, tell your own digital yep, assistant right? to do shit. Yeah. Not too funny. Well, 
Yeah, that's usually what it is for me is I'm I'm turning on like an alarm or mm -hmm. a countdown clock for things like I, I'm making tea and I'm going to walk away from it. So I'm going right. to Right. Yeah. I'm just going to do this. Yep. This is one of those things where to the naked eye, this green is a subtle enough change but the camera is not picking it up as much, but we are going to do another round of dry brushing, mixing goblin and dead flesh together. Whoa, that sounds wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, that's a sentence. That's, that's a sentence. That's a that's sentence our, I just said. That's, that, that's our paint and slay sentence for the week. Yep. Yep. That's a campaign nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, more inveral feelers. There we go. That is, it truly is. Okay, so um, we're going to do one more round of dry brushing. Like I said, we're going to mix this goblin green with some dead flesh. Okay. Uh, to create this lighter green tone. I'm actually going to try and bring my two colors together and see. I still have some goblin green, so I just gotta so add some I. dead flesh. Yeah, that's kind of exactly what I'm doing right now. Also just trying to make sure, I might need to just do a fresh mix. It's gonna be too thin, it's gonna dry out on me. Mm. I don't wanna do that. I had just enough of each color for what I needed to do, but not enough to mix the two and have plenty left over. Ah. Do, do, do. I think mine is going to depend on whether I've I've just made something that's too light or too dark. So I'm going to wait on Fair. starting until on the color we're sure. read. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Um. My, my phone did pick up on me saying something so at some did. point, and I looked over and yeah. Because that's the thing. the The screen will still give that that hey, you're doing a thing. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the goblin. Yeah, or that the gives dead you, flesh, sorry. That's that's dead flesh right there to give you comparison. Yeah. Too many times I've flesh. I've gone to like pick up groceries or something after we finished the show and I've like picked up everything and I realize, oh crap, I have to run out and pick something up for dinner. And I have gone and I've like I've had like red streaks and other stuff on my wrist and oh the looks. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think honestly, I think the Chinese restaurant, because that's technically typically where I tend to go on Friday nights. They've gotten used to my artistic quirks. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And she's just pleasant like, hello. <laughs> Enjoy. Chinese does sound real good. It doesn't. I'm, I'm still going to stick with sushi, though. Doopy, I'm going to do I'm going to try to stick to being healthy today and tomorrow because I'm sure I will be giving into some hub food, well, some yeah. unhealthy stuff on Sunday. So, yeah, that's fair. Oh, that paper towel is way too wet. Uh-oh. I'm trying to wipe off to get to the appropriate place yeah. for dry brushing, and the towel is just also wiping mm -hmm. my <laughs> wiping my brush clean. I'm like, no, that's not, no. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the biggest thing about this sculpt is there are so many different angles with the scales. You have to keep moving the mini around. Just to catch Although, a little. Yeah. Although this color, I'm now seeing a much. Uh, Popping out more? Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is probably going to be a little easier for me to, to get all the places. Because I was definitely noticing that with the last round of dry brushing. I'm like, oh, this is hard to see. Yeah. Hello, Rory. I know. Fresh air. What are we going to do? What are we gonna do about it, Miss Thing? Hi, peekaboo! Yell at all of the the birds and the bugs and the bees and all the things that are outside that that right? hunter instinct just kicks in and yeah. It, with her, absolutely. And it doesn't help that I've started getting the. It's not that they're the ladybugs; they're like the pseudo ladybugs. Oh. Um, yeah, they look kind of like ladybugs, but they're not official ladybugs. But they're also like, if your pets eat them, it can make them have digestive distress. Oof. So I've been finding these damn bugs coming in and trying to kill them all. But of course, this one, she's like, challenge accepted. <laughs> just starts hunting after all of them now. Mom is killing these incredibly quickly, which it. means I, I should kill them incredibly quickly for yep. her. And then yep. eat them. 
Yep, so I'm trying to play beat who gets the bug first game with her. Jeez. Because she's small. She's right here. Girly, you gonna say hi? Say hey yo. Say Everyone say hi to the kitty. Why do you want to crawl under the table? Look up, say hello. Here we go. Here we go. Say hi to the peoples. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's our weekly cat tax. Yep. Which apparently I have to pay every single time I paint. Well, unfortunately, um, I don't believe Mars has a cat. I know that Sean has a cat. Sean has a cat, yeah. But but Sean has a cat that is um, Vanta Black that likes to sit on top of <laughs> just a disappears. black sweatshirt. And right? just, yeah, so there's been times where we'll be in a meeting and Sean will be like, uh, oh, scratch Oop. the kitty. And yep. I'm like, oh, the cat's there. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even see. Holy crap. What? How did that? Oh, okay. So I think you might be the only person who streams on a regular basis on our channel that has a cat that who is can be incredibly <laughs> visible. Yes. That wants to be That's perceived. Fair. Yeah. Perceived. Well, of course she wants to be perceived. She's, you know, she thinks she's the queen of everything. Uh huh. Perceiving well, my people. Yes. I mean, no lies detected. Oh, see, that's a fun so, part. So thank you for paying the C&E cat tax for us this yeah, week. I no appreciate problem. it. We all appreciate it. She's, she lives for it. She lives for the views. <laughs> She's checking out the counts on YouTube. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at the analytics. When did people come in? When right? did people leave? <laughs> oh, it's my time now. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so this is a side with the full dry brushing going on, and this is a side that's still waiting for it. So you can see there's a nice little shift. Yeah. <laughs> Young does lady. Sean have two cats? Does Sean have two cats? Oh, wait, yes, because isn't there an orange one in the mix? Black and orange, I you want to say? Right, I've, I think I've the only orange ever The orange is rarer seen... to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I think I may have never seen the orange yeah. one. <laughs> Ironically enough, I've only ever seen the black one when it agrees to be perceived. Right. Well, that's like my cats. I mean, I have the three cats, but people are very used to seeing Hemingway and Rory. Cotton is the rare show. Yeah. Um, that's right. Apollo and Artemis. Yes. Thank there you. There we go. Little nod to Christian gods. <laughs> Also, I love that um, and, um, and I was like, obviously talking about the all black cats and how they're not photogenic with current camera technology. They're absolutely gorgeous in person. Mm. We called them voids. Oh, yeah. Void kitties. <laughs> void kitties. I do the same I thing. That. I love that so much. I literally want to get a pair of bonded black kittens. One is going to be named Void and the other one is going to be named Abyss. Oh, Nice. That, that's that's our plan. Oh no, I got a paint droplet on my mat. Well, oh. that is going to be pulling out the uh, rubbing alcohol after the show. Yeah. Yeah, these these mats are pretty easy to clean. Oh so. yeah. Yeah. All right. And now I'm playing hunt for the spot that I have not dry brushed. Ooh, missed a spot. Ooh, missed a spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck on the tail still. Stuck on you. There's an old callback. Mm-hmm. I'm liking this a lot more after this dry brushing. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This really made everything pop. Definitely. No, I like doing that mid-tone dry brushing because it helps keep the depth of the scales. Yeah. Um, what I found is when you do, like, if we were to take this color and go on top of the green, it'd be a stark contrast more than it is now. And it almost takes it to a cartoonish level of oh, contrast. Okay. So by having that little transition color in between the two, I find it gives it more of a subtle lift. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Vorin Villas is asking about our 100th episode. Yes. Um, yeah, we, we have plans. We do have plans. Um, 
if you missed the beginning of the show, uh, the hundredth episode, so the one that's happening in two weeks, we will mm-hmm. be at an earlier time. We will be, yes. be at 10 a.m. Pacific, so two hours earlier than our new our regular start time. That is purely by accident. We we knew about that well before, before episode, I did the yeah. counting about where our hundredth episode is. Um, I think it actually kind of works out well in a weird way. Yeah, well, plus it's like before a big holiday weekend for people, so... Yeah. Kind of gives it like the whole celebration feel that might be jiving along anyways. Exactly. Yeah, with uh, most of the crew in Canada having the day off as a holiday, it's just just a skeleton crew of Americans holding down the fort. Yep. Yep. Aw, well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. We, we are definitely uh, this stream and the other two art streams on mm-hmm. Wednesdays, Artomancy and Sketching Hour. We are definitely a much more uh, trio of chill, relaxed streams, which is nice on a Friday. It is. And, and Wednesday, Sketching Hour is the end of the day, so it's a nice way yeah, to like, it is. ease Good off. Wrap up. Mm. Plum Bob said we had a photo taken in front of a black background that truly looked like two of us with a disembodied pair of eyes and a pink tongue. <laughs> I love it. Black Labrador dog it. had disappeared. Oh, baby. Mm-hmm. That's adorable. That's adorable. What's not adorable is what happens to me every once in a while. So if oh. I'm not good about lighting back here and lighting me and i wear a black shirt mm-hmm. i am a floating head on this camera yep it is i i and it's i'm a ghostly pale floating head yep. i'm not and it's happened a couple times where i'm like i just haven't gotten the lighting back there uh nice enough for a stream and i decide to wear a black shirt which is a surprising amount of my wardrobe mm. black shirts and yeah, then I've... we get into the call and i'm just like making sure everything's okay i'm like well Crud. I'm just a floating head. Yep. Oh, well. Yep. I have been there, done that, especially when my hair used to be the um, natural, almost jet black color that it used to be. Mm. That that was like, there'd be times you'd face, that's all you'd get. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Fully feel you on that one. No, no, no. Barefoot monkey, nobody wants the ghostly floating Lauren head familiar. No, 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 no. Oh, Listen, there's already that skin of Orkira that looks um surprisingly like me that's that's there's that's there's already too much of me in the game <laughs> i still you're like that skin has been out for months and i still if that's the skin that comes up on orkira i will not find my own character until i remember to look oh, for names instead funny. of pictures too funny mm-hmm. oh that's fair Medinal Disc says, this is my favorite humanoid species to play as. 10 out of 10 lizard folk. Let's nice. go. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. All lizard right. Folk are so fun. I'm happy with how this Rawr. is looking now. Rawr. Yeah. Rawr. Rawr. Oh, I forgot to do a little bit of the face, though. Whoopsie. My bad. Definitely want to bring out the schnoot. Yeah. I. This is purely by accident, but. Uh, both nostrils on the snout got really nicely, like perfectly awesome. on the outside. It, it's a really little detail, but I, I'm looking at the front of the snoot and I'm like, oh, I want to boop that snoot. It's just so nicely boop. shown yeah. off. There we go. That's better. All right, cool. So that is that. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, that's right. We have the underbelly. So we're going to go back to the underbelly and use bone white and dry brush the underbelly where we had put dead flesh. Okay. So that's next up. And bone white is basically just a uh, right. ivory off whitish tone. A crew, if you will. Hi, Hembles. This, yes, this is one know. of the paints out of the set that we've used enough of that when I shake it up, I can actually hear the paint the washing yeah. around in there. Yeah. Which is a very satisfying noise. It's like, ah, yes, I've made progress. <laughs> It's just, it's just also a nice ASMR type noise yeah. for me anyway. Just that, yeah, that little no, bit of sploosh. Totally get what you mean. Oops. No. 
and this is just going to get focused on the dead flesh area that we painted up before. Yeah, I guess it makes sense to start from the bottom from the way that the scales yeah, are painted. That's just it. It'll help to pull up as opposed to down just to really highlight the edging on those. Okay, that is dry enough. I was just worried that yeah. the tail hadn't gotten dry enough for me to be able to dry brush, but it looks like it's fine. All right, great. It's fine. He's all good. It's all good. dry brush the uh, 18 pack abs <laughs> yeah, I know right <laughs> this guy definitely knows how to gym I mean there's leg day arm day ab day shoulder day yeah back day tail day neck day neck day I still hold that if I ever play a lizard folk and it looks like this like it's totally gonna have like the surfer dude voice <laughs> so I'll Oh, I don't remember the last time I've I've played lizard folk before, but honestly, when I when I go for the scaly creatures, I tend to go either kobold or dragonborn. But lizard folk are so much fun. Yeah. And then you get to sing the Jason Charles Miller song in the back of your head as you're, you you're being a laser a lizard folk the whole time. Yeah. Like or I've maybe done that's just Yanti. That I've done Yanti and kobold. I don't think I've actually played a Yanti. Yeah, she's got a very clipped, clipped accent. Very snobby. Those S's are extended. Mmm. Ah, I'm happy with these. Look at that. Yeah. That makes me happy. Stomp. What's wrong? I just lights were flashing and I was trying to figure oh. out if I was getting, if my lights were actually flashing or if it was something outside because I have my, my shades like half open so every gotcha. once in a while I think it was something outside but we'll Osius has a good point. Imagine the workout you would need on your glutes to perform a tail swing. Valid. Yeah. <laughs> Rex yeah. Clutch mate, do you even lift? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Carrying that tail every day is leg day, says Barefoot Monkey. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fair. Oh, I love this far too much. This is good, guys. Keep it coming. I like it. I like it. All right. So we're going to stop with the dry brushing now, and we're going to go into doing some Manny Petty work. Okay. So it's going to be black pudding, and we're going to do the claws on the hands and on the feet. The RARs. I grabbed the two other blacks, but not black pudding. Oh no, pudding! Oh pudding! Did I not get black pudding? Oh. Yeah, well, I'll get thee a black pudding. Okay. Uh, Man, I shouldn't have started talking about sushi because now my hunger is like intense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I want the food now. Yep, I, I grabbed both oh. other blacks. <clears throat> Well, hold what? on. <laughs> I'm reading Rex Verity's comment. He had me at the first two parts. Jim, bask in the sun, and lost me at the wash loincloth. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> could probably get a, flip, a clip of my face reading that and, like, literally, like, that's a... Wait. <laughs> See, now you've just basically told half of our chat to go and clip that, Oh, shoot, so. you're right. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that on myself. <laughs> like, oh, wait a second. You've on. been on the internet long enough to I know. I know, how this I'm works. tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There it is. Okay. You know, it's been a long week when you start getting punchy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Right. And today's. 
Listen, Mars, you're awesome, and I was very, very happy to help out and mod this morning, but it, it has made my day way longer than it usually is, so I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just look. It's basically okay, just... I see where these claws are. Yeah. And because these are, <laughs> this sounds redundant because yes, it's a miniature. Because these claws are so 3D, like there's a lot going around with them. You have to like move the mini around and just make sure you're getting all sides of the claw. Yep. Well, it's like there's I'm... front back side. When I was painting the original green on the hands, I just painted the green. claws. So Yeah, that's fair. I'm having to be a little more cautious about Totally understand that. Where one. I'm starting. Although these these are uh, fairly long claws. So. They are. They're significant. Like this is uh, kind of wondering if they're gels. You know. Maybe. Fake nails. Fake claws. Could you imagine being a lizard folk and like say, got into battle and broke one of your talons? And you have to go to the manicurist the next day and they have to put a fake nail on. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just to like, you know, keep the intimidation factor up. Or or maybe it's their like specific uh special gauntlets. Maybe. So it's not maybe. it's not their actual nails nails, but they put on like Ooh, you know, like all right. fake Yeah. Yeah, like the, the fake things that people put on when they want to be Freddy Krueger. Yeah. <laughs> when they're dressing okay. up. Yeah. I can see that. Trading things out. I like how we're getting into nail cup culture for lizard folk. <laughs> yeah. All about it. All about it's, it. It's fun to think about those random things. That, it is. You oh, know. It absolutely is. And then if you do ever want to dive deeper, then you get into the whole idea of like, okay, our lizard folk, do they shed like certain Ooh, uh, reptiles yeah. that we know? Because I mean, I've gone through this with, with Dragonborn of like, mm -hmm. okay, you know, Dragonborn, any scaly creature is going to have to molt. Any scaly creature is going to have to do this. Like, how do they do that? How do they go through yeah. it? That's just fun to think about. Oh, I find it fun to think about anyway. And then and then you just drop that information randomly in the middle and of the game when no one so is expecting. Yeah. Well, disturb or have them, you know, because it's the kind of thing in where it's it's just a fun thing to think about. It doesn't right. get there's no mechanics. There's no right. And right, there's no yeah. right or wrong answer. But it's often the kind of thing that people don't think about until all of a sudden they're presented with it. Um, so yeah, I, 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 at one point with Orkira, we'd gotten into a big battle and afterwards I had said something to the, ex she, she said something to the extent of, you know, all oh, this will get fixed the next time I molt. And I saw two of the players go, huh? <laughs> uh, like go through the mental process of like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, scaly creature. Yeah. 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 That would, okay. That checks out. Yep. <laughs> funny i'm assuming we're doing uh feet claws as oh, well yes yep the okay. whole whole kitten whole nail kit caboodle i just got one nail i just got one set of nails done you're already on the feet my goodness <laughs> what <laughs> vorian villas says innkeeper why is there a corpse in your room lizard folk oh it's my shed skin sorry <laughs> uh -uh. Funny. <laughs> Although that would be a good alibi. Like shed your skin, go and do the thing, and like people check and see if your room's occupied that night and they mistake your shed skin for you and you it's like never mind. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That does mean you would have to shed your skin like snakes yeah. and get it all off in one, one bit. Go. Which is which would be a challenge, but you know, ma magic world. Right. This is this is a magical world, why not? <laughs> been exfoliating. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, God. We're having too much fun with this. Yeah. Love it. Well, 
one of the other reasons that I like thinking about ridiculous things like this is then it leads down the path of, uh, what, for those of us that DM on a regular basis for mm -hmm. like one shot ideas. Right. Um, I don't know who mentioned exfoliating. Uh, oh yeah, Rex Verity, I've been exfoliating. Spotty. Uh, I have a, I, I ran a one shot ugh, a couple years ago and where the adventure was all about the players going out to get a very specific pumice stone for a, uh, a high-end spa in Neverwinter that catered specifically to scaly creatures because they uh -huh. were able to get this really nice pumice stone to be able to shine up their stuff, so. Funny, I like it. I love, I like that's, it. That, that's like the practical reason why I like thinking about the mm -hmm. ridiculous things. Mm -hmm. No, totally, totally understand what you mean. I totally thought this claw was way bigger, and now I've got this patch of green that I forgot to Uh-oh. That is... rut row. Yeah, I will fix that in a second. Let's okay. get the other claws. Oh. Hey! Sorry, Cat was uh, launching himself off of a chair and it almost fell. Oh! Yeah. Is the cat okay? Cat is fine! <laughs> I figured, but you know, I wanted to ask. Saying hey just sort of stopped the... Uh, the motion of the absolute launch and kept it from tipping the chair over. <laughs> Gave him pause. Gave him some pause. Not just the four he has? No, an additional pause. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I On the hands, I just went, oh, I'm just gonna paint all That's the way fine. down and I'll do the claws later. And on the feet, I apparently decided I was going to try to not paint on the claws, and now I've... Oh, interesting. Like, there are scales. Why did I paint on the claws? Right? Fine. There are scales that I'm missing down on these feet, and I am, I am annoyed at myself. What did I do? This past Lauren is getting a lecture. Yeah. What did you do? Who knows? The nice yeah, thing is, is, since we're painting the base last, uh, don't worry if you go over on the uh, base itself. With the black put in? Yeah. He's gonna sit on you and you're gonna get mad. Rory is trying to attack the larger Maine Coon, Hemingway. <laughs> this has never gone well for you in the past. Why do you insist? She I swear she thinks she's the same size as these two big boys. I truly think that's her thing. She's like, haha, I, I can do it too. I am of the same stature look at me go it's like sweetheart you are six and a half pounds wet <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's the same with dogs too right, right? it's yeah. the, the tiny little yeah. chihuahuas that are just like i don't care that you are a rottweiler you will fear me yeah oh yeah attitude Absolutely. is nine tenths of the law uh the mole's revenge asks can dragonborn or lizard folk change color when they molt i always wanted to be green mm. um I, I don't think they can totally change color, I think. But I do think it's the kind of thing, like a lot of creatures, when they're young, they're like one one version of the color. Right. Like a, they're a darker green, and then as they get older, they, they get lighter green. Mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely think, and once again, this is all just my opinion. There's nothing right. official about this anywhere. Uh, I definitely think that that's part of the, the growing up process is your scales changing, getting, you know, lighter, darker, whatever. Well, I mean, I think it's just, it's by nature, like, as you get older, certain colors of things change. Like, when I was a kid, my eyes were almost like a slate blue, mm -hmm. like a very dark blue. And now they're this very pale sky blue. And something that happens on my mom's side of the family, we all go through that, like, get the very, very pale colored eyes as we get older. So I, I could see, like, you know, as something ages and sheds its layers of skins, the color shifting from, like, maybe, like, a darker color to a lighter color or vice versa. Yeah. I could also see, um, because Dragonborn can be, at least with Dragonborn, lizard folk, I think, are all kind of shades of, of greens Green, and yeah. yellows. But Dragonborn, since they come in the the full uh, spectrum. spectrum yeah and 
I like that you can have dragonborn who are in uh, mixed colors. Like you can have someone who's rust because uh -huh. of their the mixed lineage. Yeah. Um, so you know maybe some of those. It's like all right. When I was younger, I leaned more towards my mother's side, who was red. Yeah. And as I got older, I leaned more towards my father's side, who was blue. And so now I've got this molted. You know. Yeah. That could be fun. And especially now with uh, the 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 way that you can make Dragonborn on Baldur's Gate three, you can make those right? colors happen. It's super cool. I love honestly the way they've handled Dragonborns is so cool. Oh yeah. Seriously. Yep. Hundred percent. Looks like my guy lost a little bit of his last claw. <laughs> Uh -oh. on the side. So I'm kind of just like faking it. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it's, it's, it's that we'll just paint that black. So it kind of looks like there's a claw there. It happens sometimes with the mold lines. Okay, oh, yeah. so that takes care of the claws. Actually, now that I look, that claw is, is definitely stunted on my whoosh. side, too. Yeah, a little whoosh. Yeah, little, it little happens. Squish down. It's okay. It happens. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have fixed the green that was missing. So Ta da! We'll awesome. Oh. All right. So then we're going to paint that frill with either whichever yellow you can open, whether it's sun yellow or gold yellow. <laughs> Let's see today which ones which ones will we open? Which which one will work? Um do make sure you thin though. If it's a thicker yellow, yeah. Because this frill has some really nice details to it you don't want to lose. All right, we're going for gold yellow. Gold yellow we're is doing what's... The gold gonna... yellow. Put this over there. <laughs> Remember. Put in the time The last box. couple of times... Well, the last couple of times that I've thought about it, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah, so at the end of the, the yeah. day, that's, that's blah, blah, blah. Right. And then I put the paints away, and then out of sight, out of mind until the next week. So I put it over there. So that way, when I come across it, I'm like, what is... Oh. That's right. You need attention. I did a thing. I need more paper towels, though. There we go. To dumb. Hopefully, I didn't overthin this. Look where we are on the notes. Doop doop doo. Okay, water this guy down. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna have another. Um, blend episode where we're going to start like keep working on this mini but also start the next mini okay based upon where we are today works for me but of course i forgot to snag the mini itself to show everyone what it is but it's it's gonna be um a the next mini you mean yeah. yeah i'm gonna jump into doing a tiefling horizons and it's been a while since we've done a, a human, yeah, yeah, smaller. Uh, well, a human, and then like, yeah, this is technically actually. This is large. Is this a large? This is a okay. large. Yeah, because I was about to say this is the while. the monstrous version of the, yeah. the lizard folk, not it the is. yeah the PC. So yeah, this will exactly. be the first time in a while we've gone back to just a, just a medium. Yep. That's just it because we had a couple of significant size minis. I'm like, let's taper it down again. Yeah. Um. But I forgot to snag the miniature to show you all. So, Lauren, I'll send you um, the details for Discord. So if you okay. get the mini ahead of time, they can. Yeah, the mini and the paints and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yep, I'll get that all up on uh, the discord.gg slash idle champions. Home. Rick World. Huh? Caleb Marin says, Holy marbles, I completely for forgot about this getting ready for Brick World tomorrow. What's Brick World? Please, please tell me this is like Lego related. Um, yeah. I am imagining Disney theme park, but made out of Lego. Could you imagine? Hmm. 
I mean, whatever it is, that's kind of an awesome name for whatever yeah. it is. Right. Le- yeah, it's a Lego convention. Cool. Aha. Uh-huh. Nice. Awesome. Famous thing. That is awesome, and also that would be so dangerous for me to go to. Right. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I could. No. Go to a Lego convention and not come home. <clears throat> oh. Uh oh. Again. Uh-oh. Get off the keyboard. Okay. Nothing. Nothing that I can tell so far has been affected by that little jumpy jump. I didn't see um, anything show up in the chat, so your cat cool. did not type into chat. So I think we're cool. okay. Awesome. Great. Love her. She's wonderful. Mm. I mean, she just wanted to say hi to her adoring fans. Of That's course all. she did. Of course she did. This frill is so fun. But see, this is this is where my brain goes to surfer dude. Sup. Yeah. Sup, yo. Totally do that. Gonna catch the waves. Going to get that spot and not get yellow on the green. I'm going to get that spot. And not get yellow on the green? And not get yeah, yeah, there we go. There you go. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly dip over to bloody red. If it comes out, this did this to me last time. And we're gonna take that and um, mix that into that yellow and dry brush the upper tip of the frill to get that lovely little orangey flare. Yeah. I'm almost done with the, yeah. the yellow on the frill. Totally cool. I'm just gonna I'm mixing it up right now so you can kind of see the color I'm going for. As I was doing this, uh, part of me, part of me is like, oh, I grabbed a brush that's way too small for this, and then I get in close where the frill meets the the scales, and I'm like, nope, nope, I grabbed the perfect brush, mm. something tiny. There you go. All right, so that's the color I'm going for, mixing the yellow with the red together. Nice. Yeah, nice rich orangey tone. And what I'm going to do is basically just work sort of the side of the detail brush I've been using and carry it along the upper portions of the frill. Okay. Got a dash of color. I'm your bloody red. And bloody red's basically like a very bright cherry red for those who don't have the uh, prismatic paint colors at home. <laughs> I just saw Mara said, looks like Brick World is 20 minutes, uh, a 20 minute drive from me. Oh, Uh-oh. oh, Mars. Uh oh. Oh, Mars. Have you been influenced? <laughs> I mean,. I mean, I wouldn't blame you. Right? Um, you okay there? On. I'm, I had the yellow left, so I, I had yellow left, so I added red to the yellow, but I think I added too much red to the yellow. Oh, and, and now, now I think I'm forth. too, yeah, so. So honestly, um, it's just better to start fresh with a new yellow and yeah, bring like a dot of red on your brush to that yellow. Yeah, because I definitely, I definitely went too red. Got it. Yeah. I got too fair. red too fast. I don't need a lot of paint, so that was also one of those. Oof! I've just. Yeah. There we go. That's, that's what I'm looking for. You that's an it. orange, not a red that I accidentally put some yellow in. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's grab you. And let's see. 
Yeah, you basically want to focus this on the upper portion of the frill. It's like the upper half of the frill is where okay. this is going. There, yep. there, that's that's the orange ish I'm looking for. There you go. Fun little pop of color. Well, my yellow, the yellow on the frill is still a little wet. That's okay, that's actually, because okay. it'll kind of blend. Yeah, I'm more. getting that, and it's nice. Yeah. Um, and then what we'll do is we're going to add a little bit of white dead white to this mix to lighten it and we'll take that at the very edge at the base of the frill there it is dead white is just basically white but I would put that white to the side and bring the white to your color mix as opposed to putting the white into the mix itself right away okay save you from having to do yet another remix yeah, yeah, that'd been that'd been nice. I think I would have been less annoyed if I'd been able to at least eventually get the color. But you're you're mm -hmm. right at that. At one point, at some point, you just have to kind of yeah. give up on give up on it and start over. So that is it next. This is what it is next to it with that, the white added to it. Okay. Kind of the same thing. Focusing on the upper ridgy area here. And I'll just carry this down through the rest of the section towards the base. All right. Did what? <laughs> Apparently, chat is having a discussion about what's worse, probably to step on, D4s or Legos. Uh, uh Matchbox cars. Oof, yeah. I have stepped on all of them. And the Matchbox car drew blood mm. and took a while to heal. Yep. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. And then on top of that, because there's wheels, there's the added fun of, okay, I've stepped on something I, that go hurts. Sliding. <laughs> and then, whoop. Yep. Yep. Don't get me wrong. They all have various levels of pain. But matchbox, car, matchbox cars, those, those are the winners in my book. Hmm. <laughs> Spiky metal banana peel. <laughs> this is all num num num. <laughs> yeah, that would suck too. Mm hmm. That'd be bad. Mm hmm. All right, so that shows off what the frill looks like now. Whew. Liking it. Liking it. Yeah. There we go. So that takes care of that part. And then there's this fun detail around the eyes with this electric blue that they have going, like that streak of blue. Yeah. Um, kind of like an 80s rock star type of thing. Oh, they're lizard folk. They are rock stars. Do, do, do. Oh, Bracken, please not. Oh, God. Bracken brought up the V. Isn't it spelled like we spell Vi? Um... Yeah, no, Vi and V are two different names. For sure. Just like Orkira and Alindra and Oriza. Mm -hmm. Just like <laughs> Brim and Brig. Just, just, oh, oh my God. That 
That I think Vi and V was probably. Yeah, I think Vi and V though was probably to me the most cruel because it involved a real person. Yes. So, you know, I was so jumpy during those meetings where people kept saying, because there were, people were trying to figure out how to say Vi V I and kept saying V. It's like no, nope, no. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so I'm gonna tap into Electric Blue if it'll let me open it. What the heck? Uh oh. Nope, oh, there we go. There we go. Blue. There we go. So Electric Blue, yoink. Which is this nice, uh, vivid light blue. And what you'll see in a lot of the artwork for these lizard folk is right through here. There's this area right here that has like this blue streak that goes on right through there. So we're going to add that okay. streak in. Um, I think I'm going to switch to one of my smallest detail brushes though. I can yeah, I see it way more in in the in our game artwork, yeah. just because of the way the they're facing. Yeah. All right, so I will go in with my wee little detail brush. Tiniest of brushes. Exactly. <laughs> Show it in the camera and be able to see it at the same time. That is the challenge right now. Yeah. Right there. See it? Yeah, but start outside of the eye. Yeah, not in the eye itself. There you okay. Go. Yeah. And then just let it trail off as it works back away from the eye. And then the other side. Yep. Now can I go at least approximately the same distance? Let's see. And then it turns into that chase. Mm-hmm. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if she does it. <laughs> Of course, we both get quiet because we're concentrating. <laughs> I mean, it's eyes. Aye, 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 yep. You gotta, you gotta be... Mm-hmm. All right, I think I got pretty close, but I also got a little bit of blue where I did not want blue, so I'm gonna pull on. Okay. Happy. To the water. There we go. Amy doop. Amy doop. Cool. Liking that, liking that. I just saw Rex Ver Verities. My dad had a rule that if he found a Lego with his foot, it went in the trash. My brother and I got very good at cleaning up. Yeah, my rule is if it goes into the vacuum, it's gone. Yep. Yep. I think that's fair. Especially the vacuum. Like, mm -hmm. that's... You wouldn't want the Lego once it's been in the vacuum. No, but, like, I there were days I vividly remember vacuuming and hearing... <laughs> I'm like, Oof. well, that, that's a piece you're not getting back. Nope, mm. that's a Lego gone. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Got do, a do, little do. bit of time left. What? Okay. What are we? That we finished it. So now, oh, that's right. So we're gonna take this uh, same blue, and we're actually gonna dry brush this on the upper spikes of the tail and around the shoulders, because okay. there's some fun. Uh, it was on the original artwork. So keeping with the electric blue. Where'd my dry brush go? Did I put that sucker away already? I bet you I did. For a moment, please. No. Oh, there it is. I'm just trying to take a closer look at the artwork and, yeah, you know, I'd, getting closer to the artwork isn't going to help turn it so that I could easier see the part that's behind the body. But here I am. Uh, checking it out? <laughs> yeah. Checking it out? Okay, so basically what we're going to do is just have a little fun. There are these little spikes on the shoulder here. Yes. So get those electro-blueified. Uh, tips of the whole thing. 
Start at the tips and work your way down so it's mostly the electric blue. So it'll end up looking kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. Fun little pop of color. Spikes, like eyes, require concentration and thus mm -hmm. are quiet. <laughs> Spikes on this side. Yeah. And then. They're a lot bigger and easier to, to deal with. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this up, uh, this blue on. See how there's oop, these ridged points here? Yes. Going to run that literally along the ridge tips that go up the back and the tail. So there's actually a few of these. So you're going to end up with uh, one, two, three, four, five rows all said and done. Okay. But it's also just a very light touch. We're not looking to do like a huge changeover. So it helps to run the brush so it's perpendicular to the mini. Just something real subtle. Exactly. And then all the way down the tail? Yep. Okay. Of course, the nice thing is as you get towards the bottom of the tail, it kind of starts picking up the other ridges. Mm-hmm. By nature. I'm trying to be good about keeping an eye on the chat, but we've gotten into such detaily sections. Yeah, I know. yeah. Thank, thank you once again to Mars for for grabbing Absolutely. questions from chat. But now would be if you have any questions for us, put question in big capital letters, mm -hmm. uh, so that Mars can see it because we are, as you can definitely tell, we're in deep. Focusing. Focus. We're super focused. So I don't want to miss. Yeah. Don't want to miss a thing. Don't want to close your eyes either. Nope. That, that would make mini painting very difficult. It really, truly would. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it yeah. subtle so i don't know how well it'll show up on camera that's just it it's not meant to be a like a bit. super duper oh look at me but it's just a fun little subtle touch yeah another way to make sure that a creature that could easily just be painted all green and then like yeah. done can get get some fun color little, in there exactly a little special treatment I'm going to carry it up that brow ridge area. Oh, okay. Because there's, well, there's like a ridge that runs up the back. Mm-hmm. So it just kind of runs right through there. Oh, okay. Yeah. For whatever reason, I didn't think we were going that far. That my bad. But I'll keep no, going. No, no, no. Totally okay. Make sure to get the other side of this tail. Ooh. Yeah, I guess for whatever reason, I was thinking this was just a, a pop of color on the one side. But now seeing the the blue streaks on the eyes and the blue mm -hmm. on this part of the tail, and I'm like, huh? Yeah, okay, all right. Just fun. Just it's brings it up a little. Together. Yeah, amplifies it. All right. 
think what we'll do is once we get this section dry brushed, as we'll call it for today, and then I'll give you the information for what the next mini is, Lauren, to share in Discord, so people can also jump into that, and we'll do we'll do another uh, twofer type of situation next Friday. Yeah. Which definitely works really well when you've got one mini that's almost done and mm -hmm. one mini that you're just starting on. Because yeah. in both cases, you're going to be doing things in where letting it sit for a second it helps. and completely dry really, really helps. Yeah. Try to get the lighting so you can... There we go. That kind of gives you a sense of what it looks like on the back. a fun bit of color to go on. Rark. <laughs> Rark. Gert, arg. All right. Nice. Okay, so yeah, let's call it for there. There we go. You can kind of see it there. Yeah. Yeah, you do. This so we'll call it Definitely for this. another one of those in where it shows up way more on my, uh, in mm -hmm. real life than on my camera. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll keep going with this next week and start up the tiefling mini that we're going to be doing too. Um, yeah, we still have a few steps left on this one. Yeah, because there's the gauntlets. Yep, there's and... the gauntlets, there's the base, then there's washes. So there's still some things left on this fellow. And the eyes and the teeth that happen towards the end. So we have Hi, Hemi. You going to come up and say goodbye to everyone? Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. It's your hem Oh, hi. You go boy. Have have we gotten all three cats? No, appearing? it's just, him just and the two? and Rory. Yeah, just him okay. and Rory. Um, so don't forget, uh, still happening right now is our festival of uh, fools, which you want to take advantage of this weekend. So you can get if you haven't already, the Dark Urge and Daddyus, as well as check out the other Flex champions that are now available as you move through this event. And uh, just to kind of help further amplify and uh, pad up your champions and give them the things they need, it is the Respectful Weekend for a Weekend Buff. And you get a free gold respected chest. If you have not signed up for the newsletter yet, you're going to want to do that. Because once a week, we send you a newsletter and we send you something free that you can put to use in the game. It's a great situation. It's great to do. Um, and it's one of those things where every once in a blue moon, we will send out another email, not another email, a newsletter with updates about things going on in the game. But inevitably, there's also a free gold something or a chest or another in those newsletter outreaches as well. So basically, newsletter equals free stuff. Okay? That's what it boils and, down to. And also, and also, we are very respectful of how many yes. newsletters we send out. Because yes. none of us like, no matter how many free things you get, none of us like getting that many pieces of newsletters no, so it's once not a week fun it really yeah. is not fun um mm. and thank you so much mars for hanging out with us and helping in the chat especially like finding out those quick bits of information that was super very helpful cool of you thank you so much and uh for everyone who's hung out with us today thank you for spending your friday with us and hopefully you have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you at the same time next week but don't forget the week after We'll be starting two hours earlier for the 100th ep episode. It might be worth jumping in next week for more information because Lauren and I aren't plotting at all in any way, no. shape, or form. No, we haven't talked. We haven't talked about the 100th episode no. at all. I just figured that out right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on that <laughs> note. Bye. <laughs> Bye.